Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. Um, lines are united, lines are separated. And he wants them. You can see this is made up of multiple lines. And it's the way he drew it. And also, in this file, even the rectangle is a bunch of lines. And look, I'm going to delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. There's multiple lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is all in centimeters. I'm going to make it an even amount. I want to make it 75, unlock my ratio and make it 100. So I made the whole thing 75 by 100. Because now what I can do is I can delete these lines. And see, I don't know why there's so many lines there. Uh, that would cause you problem, especially in cutting. It would cut more than that again. There's only one line there. So now what you can do is take a rectangle that is 75 by 100. And now you only have one line. Now, I should, I should have left some reference point to get it back to where it was, but I'm pretty sure I can do it just by matching it up. If you're doing it, um, you know, just set your nudge factor pretty low. And like... I don't even know what that is in centimeters. That's pretty low. So you could just nudge that down and then just kind of nudge it over and you're going to be back in the same spot. And why that's so important is because I'm thinking he's cutting this out or whatever. But anyway, so now what we can do is we can change the nudge factor to 80 and we can nudge this out of the way. Now, all these lines are touching each other, except for the nodes are just not joined. See, there, there's a node and there's a node. So what we need to do, <clears throat> two ways you could do it. You could individually grab them all, but what we can do is hopefully grab them all with the shape tool I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's grab them all with the pick tool. And see, there's something out here, too, that's invisible. Whenever you see something that pop up, get rid of it. So let's grab all these. Then grab the shape tool, and we got all the nodes. And you can see all the arrows. Go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. And he's got his set on point two. So... I don't even think it needs to be that high, but I think that'll work. And I'm just going to hit apply. Well, I need to select them all and then hit apply. What that did, now you can see the arrows are only at the start. So now every one of these lines are individual lines and solid lines from top to bottom. And the reason it did that is because these lines join the nodes that were close. If we take the parallel dimension tool, there are no nodes that are, you know, they're all almost three inches apart. So they're not going to join because we're only at 0.2 apart. Now, if this is the way you want that, I'm hoping that's what he was asking. And then just nudge this back and you've got the same, uh, same effect. I'm guessing he's making a topo map of something. I can't really tell by his other drawing, but at least that'll get him on a start. And just to let him know, when you're drawing lines like this with a two-point line, if you will just stay on that node instead of moving that node, that line is all one line. That's the way it looks like this was drawn, and maybe even some, even with the three-point curve line, as long as you start on that node and go back to that node, this is going to be one line, as you can see. Now you can grab that wherever you want, and it'll move that whole line. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.